Question 6 says the density of gasoline is 7.3 times 10 squared kilograms per cubic meter at 0 degrees Celsius. Its average coefficient of volume expansion is 9.6 times 10 to the negative fourth per degrees Celsius. And note that 1 gallon equals 0 0.00380 cubic meters. A. Calculate the mass of 11.2 gallons of gas at 0 degrees Celsius. Answer in kilograms. So the problem gives us a few things. It gives us a, a, it gives us a volume in gallons. It gives us a density in, um, in kilograms per cubic meter. So we need to be able to turn the gallons into cubic meters and we can solve for the first it wants to it wants us to give mass so we can solve for mass if we can turn the the 11.2 gallons 11.2 gallons over 1 into cubic meters so it's 0 0.00380 cubic meters per 1 gallon per one gallon so that will cancel out and so and then we get our density is 7.3 so it says it's times 10 squared so we can say 730 kilograms per cubic meter so we know that the the density of something is equal to the mass over the volume and so we can solve for the mass and we know that the so the mass will equal the uh, the volume times the density. And now all we need to do is take our formula here for the volume, plug it in here, take this for our density, plug it in here, and we should get um, we should get for the volume 0 0.04256 cubic meters times the 730 and that's going to equal 31.0688 kilograms. Then part B says if one cubic meter of gasoline at zero degrees Celsius is warmed by 16 degrees, what's its new volume? So we just have to use the uh, volume expansion where the, the change in volume is equal to our, our volume expansion coefficient times the times the initial volume the initial volume times the change in temperature and so we can actually expand this a little bit so the final volume minus the initial volume is going to be equal to the the volume expansion coefficient times the initial volume times the change in temperature and we know what the change in temperature was because it started at zero it went to sixteen point five so the change in temperature the, the change in temperature is equal to the, the final temperature in this case, in this, in this particular case. And so we, we want to know the final volume, and so the final volume is equal to this coefficient of volume expansion times the initial volume times the final temperature plus the initial volume. And so you can just plug in the, uh, the components. It tells us in the problem that the coefficient of volume expansion is equal to 9.6 times 10 to the negative fourth and that's uh, per degrees Celsius so Celsius to the negative one is the unit it tells us that the initial volume in part B is equal to one cubic meter and so because it's equal to one we're multiplying it by all these things it's actually just going to um, not really be required so we don't even need to, to pay attention to it because it's equal to one and the the final temperature is equal to sixteen point five degrees celsius and so we have it in the units of our ex volume expansion coefficient and the, uh, so we can just multiply the uh, sixteen times uh, beta and add one to the answer so the final temperature times the volume expansion coefficient is equal to 1.01584. All right, it's equal to, when you add the one to it, it's actually equal to 
0 0.01584 and then you add the initial volume so the final volume is equal to 1.01584 cubic meters now one thing I want to explain here is whenever I cross this out I was just saying that 1 doesn't come into play because it's an identity property but the units on the volume do come into play so we, we do have to keep the units there otherwise um, this cancels out the units on this and we're left with a unitless number and you can't add a unitless number to a number with units uh, you would just have to leave it as an addition problem so um, I did cross it out it doesn't get uh, it doesn't cancel out I'm just crossing it out because it's an identity property now in part C it says that we're supposed to use our answer from part B so we're using this answer for part B okay so using this answer using the answer in part B calculate the density of gasoline at 16.5 degrees Celsius so what do we know we know that that density is equal to mass over volume uh, so what we know is that the mass does not change so we can solve for the mass we can say that the the mass is equal to the volume times the density okay so this is always true the uh, the, the mass times the, the mass equals the volume times the density it's always going to be true for, for us and, and because the mass doesn't change so the mass 1 we're just going to call it mass 1 to show that it doesn't change equals the volume 1 times the density 1 and the mass 1 after the after the volume expands the mass 1 equals the volume 2 times the density 2 and so we can actually take these and set them equal to each other so we can say volume 1 density 1 equals volume 2 times density 2 and we know this is true because we did not add or take away any molecules so the mass has stayed the same and what it's asking us to do is find the density after after it's been heated up so what's the new density of this thing so we want to solve for P2 or I mean row 2 this is a row so uh, row 2 equals volume 1 density 1 over over density 2 I'm sorry over volume 2 we're solving not for volume we're solving for density so over volume 2 now so I'm going to move this over and we're going to use our equation right here uh, this is our equation the density uh, the final density equals the initial volume times the initial density divided by the final volume and so we know the initial volume was one cubic meter times that by the initial density given in the problem is 7.3 or it's times 10 squared so we'll say 730 kilograms per cubic meter and this is in cubic meters so you can see that the meters are going to cancel each other out um, and then so the the um, the final volume we just calculated and so we just plug that in 1.01584 cubic meters and when you plug that in your calculator you should get an answer of 718.6171 kilograms per cubic meter and so we need to to save this number because we're going to need that for part D and part D wants us to calculate the mass of 11.2 gallons of gasoline at 16.5 degrees Celsius so the, again the mass is equal to the volume times the density and this is the volume I'm sorry this this is the volume this is the density and I'll try to say that where I this time this is the density this is not the volume uh, that we're going to be using the, the volume is 11.2 gallons so density this is the number we're carrying over so we're going to calculate the mass of 11.2 gallons of gas at 16.5 and we again we we have decided already that the mass is equal to the the density times the volume and in the first problem we had decided that the volume of 11.2 gallons of gas was equal to 0 0.04256 cubic meters and we had our we just figured out in part C that the density is equal to 718 
718.6171 kilograms per meters cubed and meters cubed will end up canceling out and we'll be left with our answer in kilograms. And so when you plug that in your calculator you should get that the mass is equal to uh, 30.5 uh, 30 kilograms and then the last problem says how many extra kilograms of gasoline would you get if you bought it at zero degrees Celsius rather than at, than at 16.5? So we calculated in, in part A that the mass at, at zero degrees Celsius was 31.0688. And we, we just calculated that the mass at 16.5 degrees Celsius is 30.584. And so the, the amount that we would lose is, is 0 0.48445601 kilograms.